right, so making sure you get them the right way around. So that is the in. And as you'll see the markings. Now for the exhaust one. So there's the FE and there's the FI. Oh, I'll try and zoom you in as best I can. I had to move it slightly. So there is the FE mark. And there's the FI mark. So they're perfectly in line. So now I can actually go ahead and put the followers on. Again, these are also marked exhaust. top one is marked in All right, and these are ready to bolt down. So I'm going to continue on just doing crisscross pattern until I can get these down as far as I can, so they're actually flush with the surfaces, and then come back for the torquing. Right, so just check the manual. Torque settings on these are 21 newton meters.
All right, so they're all done to 21. I've also replaced this rubber washer in the middle. All right, so I'm going to move back to the bench quickly and install the rubber grommets that sit inside there. Well, I think the only thing I'm unsure of is obviously the ones that came out had a metal ring that says up. I imagine you reuse it. So if so, it's that side facing down. Yeah, you can easily tell. Just match it with the other one. So, unsure if you're supposed to reuse them, but uh, I'm actually going to cut them off and reuse them. That's it's just going to squash that rubber washer. Right, so I just need to cut these off and then we'll reinstall right so that's all the rubbers installed with the metal washers so next thing to do everything in here is torqued so basically that's done The actual tensioner unit I can actually install in, in there from the top. Just need to tighten that down for the water pipe. Right, so let's get this rocker cover on. Alright, so I've got the gasket, I've just got a it's got a groove in it so I can fit that in the groove round. in the grooves all the way around now we can install it on the bike I'll probably do from up top. Just do these finger tight for now. Right, so they're all finger tight. Get the other ones from the top. So just up there and awkward to get to. No, it's looking much better. They seated correctly, it's seated all the way round. As I say, it's just 
these two to tighten and obviously the water inlet and the last thing today will be the tensioner unit right so the last thing to do on the rocker cover is the these bolts and they are set at 10 newton meters Right, so that's the rocker cover torqued as well. Last thing now, where it should be a new gasket and the tensioner unit. Right, so I've just gone ahead, put the gasket in, installed the new Camtane tensioner and the nut, which is in the old tensioner because these don't come with it. There's a little key that's in the end as soon as you release the key that releases the tension I also double checked it by putting the screwdriver in winding it back and letting go and it went straight back in again so that is all installed new gasket bolts done tight the only bit I haven't done is this water entry it's loosely fitted, it's not bolted up properly. I need to double check whether there's actually a gasket behind it because I didn't see anything when I took it apart. It was just like a black o-ring that was squashed. So I need to double check that before I install this water pipe. Still got the rear cylinder to do. That'll be in the next episode. The other thing I need to do, I need to pull this generator cover off because obviously that bolt is not torqued. I can't lock it because obviously, well, there's nothing at the engine. So next episode, we're going to set the timing mark to RT for the rear cylinder. Install the rear cylinder, new cam chain, and then I can tighten this bolt up, we'll drop the bike down, put it in gear, put the brake on and tighten that up. I think it's 157 newton meters and then that can all be put back in with a new gasket. All the clutch has got to go back in again, this is all going to be next episode. So this is the area we're going to be working with. So you've got the oil pump chain, you've got the water pump chain to go in and then you've got the actual main cam chain to go back in which runs up through here and then we'll do fit, refit exactly as we have with the front cylinder, we'll refit the rear cylinder. So now I've got a big mess on my hands, I've just got to clear this up, clear the floor up and then we'll uh, end this video. Right, so thanks for joining me on that one. I uh, hope that one was helpful. That was the experience for me. It was good to actually get that cylinder head back in, set all the timing up. I say it's, uh, it's been quite a challenge this bike, but I mean, I'm actually enjoying it. It's actually been good fun to do. It's, it's bro definitely broadening, broadening my uh, skills and learning process by far. Um, as I say, there's still a long way to go. As I explained, obviously we've still got the clutch to go back in, all the um, 
oil pump chain, water pump chain, and cam chain, and the main front sprocket that fits that we had to take the clutch off to get to. And obviously the cinder head, that's still going to go back in. So next episode we're going to start cracking on with that, get the cam chain fitted first, then start putting everything back, uh, the clutch and the, all the parts that we took out of this side, and then we can concentrate on the cinder head itself. But say, so, pleased how it's gone. Any comments in the comments box below, you know I appreciate all your feedback, all your comments. Link in the description to where I got the parts from. So if anybody's after these parts, I'll leave a link in the description that takes you to the actual page. Again, wemoto.com is where I buy all my parts from. They are local to me. I say delivery is really, really fast, so it's 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 good. I mean, the good good quality parts. But again, link in the description. Also, link in the description to my Facebook page. Because say you're more than welcome, pop across if nobody's been onto the Facebook page. Pop across, say hello, you know, show me your bikes, show your projects, etc. I'm always interested. I do try and get on there as much as I can. I'm not on there as much at the moment, unfortunately, but hopefully that will be returned and I will be back on there. But I'm always interested to see what people are doing, what people, what bikes they've got, what they're working on, projects, etc. It's, it's, it's always good. As I've mentioned many episodes, this is a lifesaver for me. It, it really helps. I so, say all the torque settings, everything's in here. This covers a massive range, so I do try and get manuals for all the bikes I've got because it, they're always handy. You never throw them away. But uh, as I say, next episode we're going to crack on with the rest of it. Get the clutch back in. Get the cylinder back in. As I say, still lots more to do after the engine's done. And literally, it's all these parts that I've got hanging around the garage that need to go back onto the bike. So as I say, still a still a way to go, but we're actually in the rebuild stage, which is which is great. It's it's been I've ploughed into this as much as I can. But as usual, there's links to other videos, top left and top right. Normally a best reviewer and a playlist. I say go check them out. Check out the playlist. There's plenty I've done, plenty to keep you occupied um, with with the viewing. Whether it be an ST1100, the Hayabusa Z650 complete restoration build, that's still ongoing, that hasn't finished yet. There will be more later on, on that one. Still got a long way to go on that too. But as I say, as usual, thanks so much for your support and, and watching. And join me again next time. Cheers. Bye.